क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ऑन स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन तो क्वेश्चन सेज दैट इन एन इनक्लाइन प्लेन In an inclined plane, a block of mass 10 kilogram is placed at rest by applying a force of F in the up in up the plane direction. So this block is placed, and the force has to be applied to make it at rest. If I if I withdraw the force, then it will start start sliding down. This means that the motion of the block is prevented by external force in the of the of the direction of the force and now and the coefficient of static friction this is given i'm writing that the coefficient of static friction is given as 0 0.2 and uh, we have to find uh, find uh, f G you have to take 10 meter per second square. Okay, G is 10 meter per second square, so that naturally will take always. And uh, the angle of uh, inclination, the angle of inclination with the surface. Angle of inclination with a horizontal direction with horizontal is 37 degree so now let us solve the question the question is what here is the now if i do not apply this force then uh, it starts sliding down because the uh, force has to be applied it is given and we have to find uh, what is that force that i have applied and the block is at rest can there be only one force or you can have uh, different magnitude of forces so let us analyze that the answer is uh, not as simple as it looks like if you are doing for the first time this has very interesting conclusion so let us understand that this is an inclined plane block is placed here this is 37 degree Weight is acting downward. Component of these two forces. This component has two. This force has two components. This 37. This is also 37. So this is mg cos 37. And this is uh, mg sine of 37 degree. Now I have uh, the normal direction acting in the opposite direction of this uh, component mg cos 37. I call this as N and we have I have applied a force uh, already this is the external force and uh, friction uh, will be acting uh, up or down depending on the situation first we'll case uh, take a case that the friction is acting upward direction friction is acting in up the plane friction is acting of the plane so i assume that the first thing is that friction is acting this way force of static friction it can be down also we'll analyze one by one first of all as in the question is given that the external force is applied to hold the block back and rest at that position this means what that the downward force mg sine 37 is obviously more than the limiting force of static friction this is for sure so let us find that whether this is the case or not firstly the downward force acting on the block downward force is mg sine of 37 degree which comes out to be 
block has mass uh, 10 kilogram 10 kilogram so i'll write uh, 10 into 10 into sin 37 is uh, 3 divided by 5 so i cut this i'll get 2 here it is 60 newton so downward force along the down the plane the force acting is uh, 60 newton and um, to prevent the block from its motion or to keep the block at rest the force in the of the plane should be 60 degree 60 newton and what force is acting now let us see that how much force is acting uh, how much force the friction can provide the <coughs> friction i am acting like this because uh, this body has a tendency to move down so friction will be automatically acting on the upper direction so what is the limiting force of friction that i am writing fs maximum that is called limiting friction and that is mu s into n and what is n here n is mg cos 37 so this is mg cos of 37 degree which is mu s is given in the quotient uh, 0 0.2 the coefficient of friction between the surface and block is uh, 0 0.2 so i substitute here mass is 10 g is 10 cos 37 4 by 5 this goes to 2 so now 2 by 10 this is uh, 4 uh, 2 by 10 10 and goes to 2 the 4 4 4 the 16 so this is 16 newton now the situation is that the maximum the friction can provide the resistance is uh, 16 newton the maximum force acting downward is 60 newton that means uh, the extra force has to be applied in the upward direction here that should be 44 the difference should be here because this force downward the upward force must balance each other out you can see that the 60 minus 16 is 44 therefore this force force should be 44 newton this is a minimum force to prevent the block from motion now as i was telling you whether this is the only situation that only one answer whether 44 is the only answer certainly not let us analyze the situation it is not the case that it is only 44 newton if i increase more than 44 if i suppose not 44 if i am applying uh, 43 then obviously the net force is uh, downward direction to start sliding down. If I apply more than 44, suppose I am applying 45 degree, 45 Newton, then what will happen? This side, this side, the total force will be more. Thus imagine the situation. If I apply 46 Newton, then the net force in the up direction is 62 down it is 60 so that means the body should move start moving upward direction but here there is interesting situation that if body starts moving in the upward direction the friction will change its direction the friction will be acting in the downward direction now now the friction will prevent the upward motion as it was opposing the downward motion so the 60 newton force will no longer be acting in the upward direction it will change the direction in the downward direction now if i apply 2 newton more than 44 it becomes 46 46 plus 16 it is 62 that means net force is off the body will start moving upper direction but the situation will not be so what is the purpose of friction the purpose of friction is to prevent the relative motion now the friction will not want that the body moves up so it will have to do something what it can do how to how can the friction can prevent the motion if, a pre, pre, if the friction changes its direction downward direction then it will be more than it will be more in the downward direction because 60 is already there if it changes its direction then whatever value it provides or if it doesn't provide anything also then also 60 is more than 44 the body starts moving downward direction that means what the friction will do friction will do in the upper direction again so 40 if it is 46 
that if it, it is increasing to Newton, then friction will decrease by 2 Newton, still acting in the upward direction. So, if I increase this 44 to 46, then friction will be 18 because that will add up to 60. So, that means if I increase the force from 44 to 45, 46 onwards, the friction at this point will start decreasing the same amount by which you are increasing from 44. If I increase from 44 by 10 Newton force upward, this will also decrease by 10 Newton to make again that the sum should be 60 and the purpose of the friction is to prevent the ready motion. How far can I increase the force? The question is how far can I increase the force? I can increase from. So if I increase the up to 16 Newton extra, then this friction will become zero. If I apply 16, 16 Newton, then 60 here is also, then 50, 60, then also it will be 60. That's okay. There is no friction. Friction is not required because the gravitational force acting downward is 16, 60, and I am applying a force in the upward direction 60. So there is no need for the friction to come to play. So there is no friction acting. At what amount of force you are applying so that there is no friction acting and that answer is 60 Newton. Friction will come only when its requirement is there. If anybody else is doing the thing, then friction will not come. So, and, and if I increase from 60, this side, if the force is 61, then what will happen? If I increase the force on this side is 61, then it will more than the downward force. Now, what is the work of the friction? So, prevent the movement. So, to prevent the motion of the block in the upward direction, the friction will change the direction in the downward direction. And it will change the direction. If I increase from 60 to 61, the friction will be 1 in the downward, downward direction. So, that 60 plus 1 is 61. If I increase from 60 to 2 Newton upward direction, this is friction will be 2 Newton. How far I can go do like that? I can go up to 16 Newton. That means this 60 already that I have plus 16 that is 76. So the the force that I can apply is to hold the block at rest. I apply a force whatever the force that is acting downward direction and what is the limiting friction that the downward direction force is uh, 60 and the limiting force of friction is 16. So the answer is 60 plus minus 16. So in this situation, what I want to say is that in the case one, in the case one, friction of uh, the force that I'm applying is uh, 44 Newton in the of the plane direction. And in case 2, in this situation, the force maximum I can apply is 60 plus 16, that is 76 in the upward direction. In this case, the friction is acting in the <coughs> upward direction. In this case, friction is acting in the downward direction. Here, maximum it can be 16. Here, maximum it can be 16. The net pulling force is uh, 60. So, for this case, the extra force I need is 44. For this case, the, the force I need is 60 plus 16 is 76. So, that means the force I have to apply is greater than or equal to 44 and less than or equal to 76. This is the answer to this question. Okay. Thank you.